Hey guys, this is Nora with Willin and Dealing with Willie Five again. And I was just going to bring you guys my um, uh, Dollar Tree haul and my CVS haul. I got everything here that I got at both places. And I'll just go through those real quickly with you and uh, show you what I got here. Um, the first place I went was the Dollar Tree. And I, the main goal I went was to get the uh, measuring tape for uh, when I buy uh, clothes and stuff to resell on eBay. Um, I don't need to measure the length and everything. And for the life of me, I couldn't find the one that we had here at the house. So uh, I just went and got one cheap one at the dollar store. And uh, then I also found this book here. It's called uh, Hot, Flat, and Crowded by Thomas L. Friedman, and um, if you look at the sticker price on that, it's originally 19.34, and um, I got that for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, so I thought I might try to resell that. They had a lot of other dollar or dollar uh, books that original prices were like ten dollars or more, so uh, I may end up going back to the Dollar Tree if this one works out pretty good. And see if I can get some more books to uh, resell. And I also got the uh, Arizona tea right there. It was a dollar. It's one of those big ones. The sweet iced tea. Um, uh, then I'll, oh, I got the uh, couple of, uh, little two pack of the uh, uh, envelopes there. Um, I was running out and I needed one, so I just got a two pack there real quick. And. Uh, that was my uh, trip at the Dollar Tree. I uh, didn't have any coupons, um, so I just uh, paid uh, $4.18 for those uh, four items. And um, my next trip was to CVS, and I did a couple of transactions there. Um, the first one I did on my card, I have three cards at uh, CVS, by the way, and um, for all my newbie uh, subscribers who are pickers, um, this is going to be a sort of like a couponing section of the video. Um, I didn't, ha I, I actually forgot my coupon binder. I couldn't believe it, but neither could the uh, <laughs> cashier because they know I was bringing in there with me. But uh, uh, since I was already at CVS, I just decided to go in and see what they had on clearance and pick up a couple of things that they had on the in the ad. And so, um, what I did was I went and got the, um, my first transaction was on my card. I got the, got one of the Milky Way, those are 75 cents, you get 75 cents back, and ECBs, now for the pickers, um, ECBs are extra care bucks, which is basically store credit that you get back on your receipt. So when I say ECB, that means that I got money back on my receipt that I can use there at the store. So, um, that's what I got. So, basically, those were free. Once you pay, you pay out of pocket, but then you get the money back, you know, if it's store credit. So, once I use that store credit, it'll end up being free. And, um, let's see, what else did I get on this transaction? I got the, uh, I got one of the GE light bulbs there. Um, and I got the Coca-Cola was the 1.25 liters, and uh, the Avino. Now, the Avino deal uh, is buy two, and you get a $6 um, ECB back. Well, I ended up getting going in the travel section and thinking that those were going to work, and I got two of the travel ones, which were $3.40, or $3.00, and
machine, which is the red box inside e in CVS, which gives you out coupons and uh, any uh, ECBs that you might have earned uh, from buying certain items in the store before. So, uh, and my quarterly rewards that I got back on this particular card were $6. So I used that $6 to uh, help pay for this transaction. Um, so uh, after using the $6 ECB, my total came to um, $8.66 with the tax. And I did have a money card uh, with about 15 or 16 or $17 on it. So I used that. So I didn't pay any money out of pocket for that. And, um, so that was the way that transaction went. Um, my next transaction, oh, and when I did do that transaction, um, I got back the, uh, let me try to see that, and $2. Uh, the $2 was for the, um, what was that for? <laughs> I've already forgotten. $2 was for... GE light bulb. You buy that for $2.99, it was on sale, and then you get $2 back. So basically, after I use this $2 ECB, the light bulbs will be $0.99. Cents. And then I got the $0.75 cents back for the piece of candy. Um, my next transaction, um, I just got two of the Lipton teas back there, the pomegranate flavor one, um, and blueberry. That two of those, those are two for four, and um, then I got another Milky Way down there, and then I got the, um, I picked up a couple of clearance items, uh, 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 I picked up one of these Christmas boxes that were on sale, those were $1.99 on sale, uh, they were originally like $5 or something, so I got that for dollar. $1.75. And then the um, electric fabric shaver, uh, which I could use when I buy clothes at the thrift store and on my own clothes to get all the little fuzzies and junk off. The original price there was $5.99 and that was on sale for $2.99. So I picked that up. And then I also got another GE light bulb. Did I say that? No, I got the GE light bulb, the electric shaver. I need to get my glasses on. <laughs> Got the electric shaver, the um, box, and the uh, two T's there in the back. And then uh, you had a on this particular card, my quarterly rewards was only four dollars, so I used the four dollar ECB on that. And the total came to eight dollars and eighty-two cents, which I did put on that money card. And uh, then I got back the uh, seventy-five cents for the candy bar and the uh, two dollars there and then for the two dollars for the light bulb. And then um, on uh, Chip's card there, I still have my three dollar extra buck reward for the quarterly on his card, which I didn't use yet. So. Okay guys, uh, that was my quick trip to the dollar store and to CVS, and even though there was no uh, uh, coupons used in these transactions, I still only came out of pocket technically the four dollars and some change for the stuff I got at uh, the Dollar Tree. And then, but I, if I didn't have those money cards, I would have paid around 16 or $17 for the uh, CVS items. Um, and I also got some uh, boxes at the uh, Dollar Store, or Dollar Tree, to uh, mail some of my uh, sales from the uh, eBay. So I picked up a few of those boxes there. And by the way, um, does anybody know if uh, you can ship these with the writing on the outside, or would I need to turn those inside out before I ship those to people? 
I'm not really sure how to do that. Uh, I've always turned them inside out, but I, I was just curious as to whether I could uh, ship it with the writing on the outside of the box. It's got barcodes and stuff, so I doubt I can, but if anybody knows, I'd appreciate it if you put it in the description box. Okay, guys, I appreciate it, and thanks for watching, and I'll be talking to you guys later.